Hi, my name is Martin Ainsworth and welcome to this Light by tutorial. Today I want to look at droplets. I want to look at how we make them and how we use them. So on screen you can see I have a picture of my wonderful daughter. This is a rather large image taken with my Nikon camera at 2000 by 3000 pixels. But I want to be able to use this picture on the web and I have several others like it and I want to resize them to be 250 pixels wide by doing this clicking and dragging onto my droplet and creating the files that I need so I'm just going to grab these six here put them onto my droplet and it's going to process the images so what I'm going to have down here is my picture and when I look at the information it is now 250 by 376 so quickly let me show you how this happens if I go into Photoshop and I open one of my images I've already created an action uh, which if you watch one of my previous videos uh, custom actions in Photoshop you'll see that all I have to do in here is to create a new custom action here I'm just going to have it down to uh, web we're going to call this one 350 because I want it to be a 350 pixel wide image and I'm going to go to file save for web and devices I'm going to change the width to 350 it's then going to magically change down to 350 I'm going to tell it to save it as a JPEG and I want to save it in the location that is pictures I'm going to go save there's already one there because I've already created it I'm going to go save and close and then I'm going to stop recording my action now here this is where the fun starts I just go file automate create a droplet. I'm going to save my droplet on the desktop of my computer for now but you can save it onto any location. I'm going to call it web 350 because I want it to be a web picture 350 pixels wide and I want the destination to save and close so it will have the same destination as my action. Let's click OK. Now on my desktop now I have my web 350 action ready to go. I'm going to minimize my Photoshop file just there and I'm going to click inside the folder and just get rid of the pictures that I've just been playing with very quickly and I'm going to grab the pictures that I want to change these are my source files drag them onto my web 350 Photoshop will open up it will then make the changes and it will save them into my pictures folder it's as easy as that so anything you've created as an action can be turned into a droplet help speed up your workflow in Photoshop for whatever project you're doing. My name is Martin Ainsworth and this is a Lightbyte tutorial for Creative Cal.